So when we last spoke, we were watching Bebop do his best against Void Rays, which was pretty awful. Let's see how he fares as the game continues on, because he satisfied the basic requirement, which is to get those four bases up. And now it's four base versus two base, and hard pros killer, using all his skilla, has somehow scouted out everything down south, so Bebop needs, needs, needs to begin his goal of rebuilding. It looks like he's going to opt to go for the counterattack. I think this is going to be a very effective play. Can pick off. He's already picked off one Void Ray. There's going to be fully charged Void Rays, which don't make any sense to me because they get no additional bonus damage against anything except the buildings. So that basically means he really, really wants the space to be killed. And the recall back. Look at the... Oh! Pro's killer. <gasps> oh! Oh man, big pros killer in 7th grade. Invited all the ladies over at the end of 7th grade for the pool party. And everyone's out by the pool. His parents own a huge mansion. And he was like, ladies, please. I'm going to go up in my room. And I'm going to be playing some StarCraft 2 killing pros. And of course, being the popular dude that pros killer is, they all scurried in there. There's, there's, there's like a legion of 7th graders in there. All the ladies... Even the fellas, no one's at the pool, everyone's inside watching Pro's Killer, they're all gasping. <gasps> but Pro's Killer, you're gonna lose your whole base! And he was like, <sighs> I have recall. And they were all like, <gasps> Skill Rays! Skill Ray in his way. Hard Pro's Killer! With his gaggle of seventh graders looking upon. Oh my god. There's a word for this, because in 7th grade, you don't know all the various naughty words, or even the cool words. We all do now, I'm 26. There is nothing you can say or show me that I haven't seen, because internet. But in 7th grade, <gasps> what does that mean? Everyone had a theory, and in this circumstance, you know what the special word is? Gosu. And of course there's that one kid who never really knows what all the inappropriate, naughty, or cool words are and thinks that Gosu means something sexual. He's certain of it because sexual things are forbidden and cool in 7th grade. He wanted to grow up and be Gosu, and maybe he will one day. He just needs to practice. <gasps> so there it is. Hard pros killer with his fleet. Of 14 Void Rays and 4 Carriers. He's explaining to the Legion in his room. Oh, there's this thing in single player lore known as the Golden Armada. And this is basically that. Oh, cool, they say. It's much like when he said, Oh yeah, my brother is on varsity football in high school. And they're like, Whoa, the Golden Armada. Here it comes. Bebop. Uh-oh, some Tempest showing up. Alright, hang in there. Hang in there. He's running around. Continue to take more bases. I will say, just by me putting up the Fun Day Monday constraint, take four bases before gas, so people are having four bases, I have never seen so much expanding and replay submissions in my life. Most people are, like, stuck on two base, maybe getting a third once they feel safe. Not when you tell them to expand four times early. They're like, well, I may as well. I mean, Fun Day Monday is basically the gateway drug for expanding. Time for Sean to be misquoted by Fox News. <laughs> for a popular internet streamer encourages drug use. <gasps> Says that Funday Monday is gateway drug. There it is. It's all gonna happen now. Alright, so the map is a lot of blue and not a lot of red. So there it is. Blinking up, killing off the mothership. We have stalkers. Uh, I was trying to double click on them, but I realized they're now all dead. In fact, units lost have... Okay, okay. Alright, look. Void good unit. In fact, it's a very skillful unit. Tempest destroying the base. Loudly. Really loudly. But I'm, I'm actually just going to turn it up. Just so you know they're there. So, of course, hard pros killer. Using all his skilla. Likely enjoys ice cream that's vanilla. Whew. Wow, that was good. Alright, skill race, continue to push him back. It's maxed to not max as the current score. Speeding things up a little bit. 
Speeding these up a little bit. I'm thinking this is this is panning out well. This is this is it. This is this is good. I like this. I like this. This this feels like a plan. This feels. I've seen these before. I remember. I remember once upon a time. There was a game that I was losing, and I remember winning it. And I'm pretty sure this happened somewhere in between. Hmm. Now, as as some very clever folk are noting in chat, uh, yeah, an Archon Toilet could defeat this if Vortex was an ability that existed in this game. <gasps> I forgot Blizzard removed anything that was broken when they released Heart of the Swarm. Oh my God. Actually, on a on a, on a slightly more serious note. Remember how everyone was losing their minds about Hellbats? Remember how everyone was, like, going absolutely nuts? Like, freaking out. It's like the PTA moms in the early 2000s that lost their shit because the school system's diet didn't have enough omega-3 fatty acid. I mean, people were really getting out of line. And then you know what happened? Blizzard like didn't even touch the Hellbat, and now no one just talk. No one talks about him anymore. Like not at all. Like no one's bothered. No, I was just like, oh, I mean those Hellbat drops. I mean, they have a lot of potential. There's a lot of value in Hellbat drops. Like I don't, I don't know where it went. I mean, if there was an actual outrage. They didn't change anything, did they? I mean, I think they just made them. It was like two per Hellbat, or no, two two per Medivac, and that's about it. I don't know. I don't know, maybe... Maybe I am upset about the Hellbat. Maybe I just maybe I just tapped into some hidden rage. Wow. Okay. Alright, so we've, we've identified something that's broken. That vortex was broken. It's gone now. And everything about the hard pros killer looking good. DT's coming out. If you warp in one DT, you're saying, I am going to try to exploit the fact that they do not have detection to yield additional damage. If you warp in five DTs, you're saying, holy God, please don't have detection. Holy God, oh my God, please, pretty, please don't have detection. Oh, a present. How wonderful. Oh, oh, oh my God. Yeah, what do you... So I did stay up all night. What do you mean, McDonald's, that I arrived just when you're starting breakfast? Oh, well, thank you so much. Yes, I will have as many uh, Egg McMuffins as you've made thus far. I'll have, I'll have every single one of them. That sounds fair. Got a base up here. Got a base down here. We're still trying to expand. We got the Golden Armada. He's even... Oh, look at this. He's split it up into control groups. One is everything... Four is just the Void Rays, and six is the Tempests. I mean, part of me wonders if he lost some fingers in a carpentry accident, but I'm certain there's a logic to it. Bebop. Moving through. Hard pros killer. Falling down on bases. Pros killer. Heading down south, pros kill us, checking all the bases. No, let's try to control the watchtower, I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. All right, Bebop. He is rocking steady, indeed. Many bases. Can't take bases without having the... Oh my god, one Void Ray being split off. Ah, oh, a defector from the Golden Armada. Pros kill us. Uh-oh. Yeah, thank God for DTs. I really hope he doesn't have detection. In fact, he does not. There's literally not a detector on the map. However, either this map has gotten acne, or Hard Pros Killa is having that anxiety. Slamming down all those nexuses. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Bebop. Hanging strong. He's trying to get some more gateways up. Get out of there. Alright, he doesn't have enough for a Nexus. Everything's charged. Everything's dying. Okay. A little bit of split uppage. A lot of Nexi here. Hard pros killer. He's trying hard. Not to look so dumb. In front of everyone. Ugh, excuse me, it's school. 
is a big deal. There's a lot of consequences to losing this game. Hard pros kill a might get picked last in football. Hard pros kill a might not get to sit at the lunch table. And for once, that's not a metaphor. They literally might not let him. He might be shamed. He might kick everyone out of his room, and they might continue to have the pool party at his house. All right. Okay, hard pros kill a... Get on down there. Okay. Okay, Bebop has these things up here. And this one. And... Fucking owned. Mmm. Oh, with the golden armada in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's how Iyer fell, Protoss. Ooh, a sick burn. <gasps> Unreal. Oh my god. The pool party. The pool party. Just got a lot more tense. Emotions running high. Own them tosses. You know, I want to show a game that I think is just was really magical. This was this was this was really good. So red lost. So the golden armada. Void rays are in fact they're beatable. All you have to do is not attack the void ray, and there you go. And there you go. The strategy is to avoid it. It's like it's like it's like your ex after a really bad breakup. Part of, you know, there's that thing where everyone says, you know, at the end, where it's, you know, like, oh, well, okay, do you, I still want to be really good friends, you're really important to me. I wonder what percentage of the time it's like, okay, Q, I think that, I think this isn't working, and that we should actually be enemies. And that whenever we make eye contact, we should get hot in the face and look elsewhere and walk in opposite directions. Do, do you think that works, Felicity? This isn't a joke, this is just... Does this, does this sound does this sound familiar? Okay. It happens more often with, the, with you know, the... Hey, will you go on a date with me? Oh, no, but I really appreciate you as a friend. Like, as a friend? You're dead to me now. I This is... We are not friends. Ugh! Gross, you want to be friends with me? That sounds awfully one-sided. What do I get out of being friends? What do you expect me to be right now, mature? I will not be mature. I do not want to be friends. Oh, I don't know why the brain works that way. <laughs> Literally, it's like five seconds before the rejection. It's like, she is, she might be the one. We might get married. And I would, I would, we'd have so many children together. They wouldn't even be children. They would be offspring at that point. She would, oh, it would, it would be wonderful. We would, we would actually be able to like, like start a colony there would be a lineage, we could start the Lannisters, and all of them would have beautiful blonde hair and perfect skin and complexion. And and then and then five seconds afterwards, it's like, nope, I don't want to ever talk to another girl. I have just written off 3.5 billion people. Fuck all, all girl, or if you're a girl, all guys, it doesn't matter. It's just like the whole gender is at fault. And it's literally, it's like a 10 second gap. I'm imagining that aliens come down and they're studying us and they can like, you know, they're aliens so they're cool and they can like tap into our brain and we don't even know it and they're just like, humans are crazy. He would have died for her and now he is going to eat three pounds of ice cream and sob. Wow. <laughs> this is Lan Langy772. This is just like, <laughs> it's like, and I'm lost. Well, Angie 772 is perhaps, perhaps he hasn't experienced the rejection that maybe happens. Actually, wait a minute. I didn't realize this, but in the top right corner we have STKV Sniper Cools. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sniper Cools. Is my hero. Sniper Sniper Cools is is my boy. I love him so much. Sniper Cools? What? 
There are there are some people that think of names when they're children and it sticks with them forever, like Artosis. Like that is that is a that is a name with a lot of thought put in by a youth that has just become awesomer over time as Dan has become awesomer and now he can never live that down. Sniper Cools, I hope, grows up and has his own web show and all that stuff. Like Sniper Cools. Down at the bottom left we have GGK Repalka, who is going Engineering Bay Command Center. Sniper Cools. Oh my god, maybe I do want a child named Sniper Cools Plot. Oh my gosh, Sniper Cools Bear Gorillas Plot. Or maybe just Sniper Cools Bear Plot. You are the kind of guy that cries on Monday. It's an odd jab. That's a just a real twist. That's not, that's not exactly like twisting the knife in, that's like twisting the fork in. You know, you've made four little holes and then you just make it uncomfortable. And it's like, would you stop? That's my love handle. I'm self-conscious about it. I don't want to be stabbed with a fork. Yeah, but you cried on a Monday one time and you felt weird about it. But Rapalka, making them wear it, doing the expand with the expand, with no doubt an expand soon to come. Rapalka, loading up that bunker, building a second bunker over here. Just, you know, just chilling. Just get the bunker up there. Sniper Cools. Oh yeah. Perhaps he's got a teammate named Viper Cools. Taking out the bunker. That unbelievably bad joke was interrupted by this insane push from Sniper Cools. And Chi K. Rapalka has some difficult decisions ahead of him. Because he has to figure out a way in which this bunker can defend these buildings and this mineral line, which has a turret. You know, there's no air that can possibly um, kill us. That's good. That's great. But Sniper Cools, who no, do no doubt hacked the mainframe at school and changed his grade on an essay and then went and told everyone that he was a lead hacksaw. And there's Sniper Cools moving up. Oh, Rapalka. He didn't have, I think, the angle, and I think he had less marines, and I think that he should have defended. But Rapalka, Rapalka can still hang in there. Alright, here comes Rapalka, he's pulling back. Another barracks going down. He actually needs to build these barracks, because he's not allowed to get gas yet. So he's just going to get some more barracks. And there it is. Rapalka from Team GGK. Heading out. The bunker cannot ugh, be repaired in time. So, if at first you don't succeed... Try, try again. We will find a base elsewhere. We will make it. Now, before Rapalka can take another uh, gas geyser, he actually has to get an extra base up. So, all right. Rapalka. Rapalka. Here it comes. Here's the gas going down by Sniper Cools, who might be the man. Rapalka, however, is the... Uh, I'd almost call him the tragic hero of this game. For he is trying to fulfill Fun Day Monday. Now, the counter to Marines is Marines, and the... <gasps> Oh my god, three marines from Rapalka. How much damage will they do? How much damage will it be? How much damage will occur? It's three marines. How much damage will he do? Will he get up into the main? Yes, but how much damage will he do? Oh my god, Rapalka, he's, he's kiting the marines. He's microing them. Oh my god, Rapalka, he's doing a 1-1-1. One, one, one. He's transitioning into hurting him. Well, Rapalka's hanging on in there. Hang in there, Rapalka. Rapalka. It's gonna start going Marines. Sniper cools doing what anyone would do. Oh, I guess I guess I have money. I guess I I guess I'm expanding like five times. Rapalka's trying to reclaim his old home. Not gonna do it. Nope. This is basically what it feels like to visit home when you're in college. What are all my friends from high school doing? Oh, geez, you guys are doing what? I still play video games. What happened to you guys? Do you want a lamb? I still have lamb parties. I'm 26. I don't want to stop having lands. I did this weekend. I went to Tristan, and I drafted Magic, and he played StarCraft, and we had Pro League up, and we watched Innovation versus EGTL. Which was an excellent display of skill. But the important thing is that 
Look, this is a tough spot. This is tough. I won with a Boros deck. And then afterwards I felt self-righteous when I made fun of someone going mono-red. Someone, someone is hypocritical and his name is myself. Oh my god. No, Boros, no, it's totally fair. It's Mono Red that's the unfair one. Well, no, I'm running, I'm running, yeah, I'm running humans. It's fine, you know. I like winning on turn three. And yeah, I am main decking a bunch of giant gross so I can deal 14 damage on turn three. What's the big deal? I mean, it's, it, there's a skill play there. <laughs> well, I didn't go first, so I instantly lost. Thanks, humans deck. Well, I conceded game one because I was on the draw. <laughs> I hope... Is anyone with me? Yes. Yes, nil to win. Green, black for the win. Green and black, my two favorite colors in magic. Mmm. Yeah. Aw, oh, yes. All my bird seeds. Oh, I do love cloud shift. All, all them flickers. So at this point in time, Rapalka is still trying to get up his condition. Boom. The contract has been executed. The trigger mechanism is in place. It's time for Repulka to begin bringing that noise. It's Marine versus Marines. So? So Repulka's thinking to himself, did I win? Did I win? Nope. Found a base. Uh-oh. Nope. We're not, we're not gonna find that base. Sniper cools getting tanks. Gas has yet to be started from Repulka. Alright guys, is it gonna be Sniper cools or is it gonna be Repulka? Uh-oh. Oh, the hold position Marines hang in there. Repulka. Still has a supply lead. Still has a supply lead. And there it is. Striking the opponent where he is weak. Alright. Okay. Things are going pretty good for Rapalka. He's withdrawing back up into his, into his base. There was a drop. He killed it off. I'm, I have the fear. I have the fear. I have the fear. Oh, there's a lot of body parts. Ah, uh, there's a lot of shoulder pads. There's like there's like nine shoulder pads that just went flying everywhere. Micro Repulka, micro. Okay, look, look. First you don't succeed, try, try again. We're just gonna We're just gonna give this another shot. It's fine. Look, you need to conserve your barracks if you're gonna be trying to rebuild with Marines. It's alright. Rapalka, he's down to 16 supply, but that's fine. He's just rebuilding. So he's re-expanding, re wants to make sure he keeps that consistent 4 base count. I mean, he doesn't need to do it anymore, he just can't uh, get gas originally until that mark was met. Three command centers, down, now going. This is not the golden armada. Uh, I might call it the bronze armada. <laughs> uh, oh, the jab. Nah, we'll stick with copper armada. So that way only the true hardcoreites will know. Sniper Cools ain't messing around. He's getting three bases in one base. More barracks under construction. More barracks being landed. A starport coming up from Rapalka. A siege tank en route. All the bases being discovered by Sniper Cools. Every base. Uh-oh. A single siege tank defending a geyser and himself. Barracks are almost down. A lot of add-ons. Stim and combat shield. I don't know if a comeback is possible. I mean, Sniper Cools is pretty tenacious. With his Marine Marauder army. At 23 minutes, the, the Stim upgrade for Rapalka is a little bit ahead of Sniper Cools. It's a nice timing from Rapalka. Alright. We've done this once before in a different location. It's no big deal. We're just going to relocate. We're just going to invest in some housing elsewhere. And on the cusp of a potential defeat, Rapalka's balls swell to the size of cantaloupes. Or even antelopes. Rapalka decides that it's time for a counter attack. He wants, to, he wants to strike his opponent where he's weak. Scouting out all the bases. Conserving his own up here. Getting up into the main base and he's doing a drop. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's... Is he, is he actually gonna shoot it? He is, and it... Oh, it doesn't finish! Okay, okay, so Sniper Cools just has regular Marines. He's Sniper Cools is basically innovation. Oh. 
Oh, Sniper Cool's in a little bit of trouble. The, the, the counterattack, which clutchly killed off literally the only thing that had any relevance at this point in time. Stim, kiting, running, dying. All happens in a short period of time. Repalka, rebuilding, 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 rebuilding. But this is a potentially devastating army from Sniper Cools. Moving up, it's half supply versus full supply. And they're getting a little bit out of position. The army is split up. Oh, Repalka. Repalka, oh, what's the move command doing there? Repulka! Repulka, exploiting every edge that he can. We will rebuild, says Repulka. We will withstand. Repulka putting up a great fight. Sniper Cools trying to put the nail in the coffin. Medivac taking some serious hits. Repulka has to be so conservative with his units. And he's got to be really conservative with his units. He must be, like, literally, very conservative. There's two Hellions being made for... Well, I mean, there's there's ten Hellions being made, actually. They're on back order at this point in time. Must be very, very careful. There's the scan. He sees the overpowering amount of units. He has to be so careful, so conservative with his units. If Repulka hits at the right angle, if he reheals, if he regroups his army, they're all being rallied up. Sniper Cools, it might be a stalemate. This might be a draw. Eleven Marines being produced at once. Repulka's gonna have to... Well, that was the game. And that was the fail game of the, uh... Hmm. Darn. I didn't mean to crush all your dreams like that, but I don't know. Sometimes you have to, you have to fight really hard, you have to try really, really hard for the most anticlimactic... ...finish. Cool. Cool, so, so that was part two. In part three, we will see truly the closest thing I've ever seen as a mid to high masters Zerg player goes up against a mid to high masters Terran player in a legitimate high level ladder game. When we come back, it's going to be awesome. Stay tuned, part three, coming up after this, coming up after this.